little cock feather frog, a Russian tale. Once upon a time, there was a cat, a blackbird, and a cockerel. Once upon a time, there was a cat, a blackbird, and a cockerel, and they all lived together in a little hut in the forest. Every day, the cat and the blackbird would go into the forest to search for food. And every day, the cockerel would stay at home and mind the house. Lock the door, the cat would say. Sit by the stove, the blackbird would say. And if old Foxy comes knocking at the door, don't let him in, they both said together. Well, the days passed and the weeks passed and all was well and good until one fine morning when old Foxy did come knocking at the door. Knock, 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 little cock feather frock, a pea would be yours if you unlocked the doors. The cockerel loved peas, and the chance of a sweet green pea straight from the pod was too good to miss. He stepped across the floor, and click-clack, he opened the door, and old Foxy scooped him into his sack. Into my sack, onto my back, my sweet little feathery supper, called Foxy. The poor cockerel began to shout, help, help, brother Blackbird, dear Cat Katonovich, old Foxy has scooped me into his sack. He's carrying me off to the back of beyond for his sweet little feathery supper. Then the cat and the blackbird, who were not far from the little hut, heard the cockerel and they chased old Foxy away. And soon the cockerel was safe back home, crooning and preening his ruffled feathers. The next morning, the cat said, lock the doors. And the blackbird said, sit by the stove. And they both said, and if old Foxy comes knocking at the door, don't let him in. But they hadn't been gone for long when old Foxy did come knocking at the door. Knock, 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 little cock feather frock, a nut would be yours if you opened the doors. The cockerel loved nuts and the chance of a sweet brown hazelnut straight from the shell was too good to miss. He stepped across the floor and click clack, he opened the door. Old Foxy scooped him into his sack. Into my sack, onto my back, my sweet little feathery supper. Help, help! Brother Blackbird, dear Cat Katonovich, old Foxy has scooped me into his sack. He's carrying me off to the back of beyond for his sweet little feathery supper. This time, the cat and the blackbird had gone a long way from the home in search of food, but they heard the cockerel's voice very faintly and they chased old Foxy away. And soon the cockerel was safe back home, crooning and preening his ruffled feathers. The next morning, it was the same again. Lock the doors, sit by the stove. And if old Foxy comes knocking at the door, don't let him in. But sure enough, old Foxy did come knocking at the door. Knock, 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 little cock feather frock. A loaf would be yours if you open the doors. The cockerel loved bread and the chance of a sweet, fresh loaf straight from the oven was too good to miss. He stepped across the floor and click clack, he opened the door and old Foxy scooped him into his sack. Into my sack, onto my back, my sweet little feathery supper. Help, help, brother Blackbird, dear Cat Katonovich, old Foxy has scooped me into his sack. He's carrying me off to the back of beyond for his sweet little feathery supper. But this time the cat and the Blackbird had gone a long, long way from home in search of food. They were so far away that they didn't hear the cockerel shouting. And when they came back to the hut at the end of the day, the door was open and the cockerel was gone. They looked here and there and soon enough they saw old Foxy's footprints on the ground. They followed those footprints through forests and over mountains until they came to the back of beyond and the footprints led straight to the door of old Foxy's house. The cat and the blackbird began to sing. Foxy, dear Foxy, are you within? Your two old sisters are come visiting. Well, inside the house, old Foxy had put the cockerel on a plate and he was just sharpening his teeth and making ready to eat his supper when he heard the song. He pricked up his ears and he listened again. Foxy, dear Foxy, are you within? Your two old sisters are come visiting. That's strange, old Foxy thought to himself. I didn't think I had any sisters. He stepped across the floor and click-clack, he opened the door 
and the cat scratched his nose, the blackbird scratched his eyes and the cockerel jumped from the plate and pecked his red tail from behind. An old foxy was so afraid that he turned and ran away. He ran and he ran from the back of beyond and he was never seen again. And as for the cat, the blackbird and the cockerel, they journeyed back over mountains and through forests until they were safe home in the little hut. And soon enough, little cock feather frock was crooning and preening his ruffled feathers. And as far as I know, he still is. And that was the end of that story.